Right, I think there's something you can't hear. Can you hear me now, people? Can everyone hear me? Sorry about that. I uh, just switched switched my mic off. Yeah, hi, Springle. Um, hi, Bartos. Um, welcome, everybody. Hey, Sam. Uh, hey, Nidhi. Thanks for the follows. Thank you for the follows, everybody. Sad Panda, hey! Squingle, thank you for the raid. Hey, Lycan. Thanks, yeah, Constantine, like your, for the raid. I like your little... Are those, like, candles or infusers back in the back of you? Yeah, those are those are candles. I light them every week, every evening when I'm when I'm playing, um, and that's just a normal thing for me. I just wanted to, like, lighten the thing up behind me. Uh, it sets the mood, you know. Sorry? But it sets the mood. It sets the mood, definitely. I, I am kind of covering my Lara Shrine a bit. She's, like, sitting in my... Um, a jar with sand and the pyramid because why not? I'm not sure if you can hear see her properly, but here I am. Unsavory, hello! <laughs> Welcome everybody. So good to see you everyone. Uh, so I'm taking Constantly is finished with finish with this section and now we're ready to do our part. Is everyone doing fine? Is everyone like sitting comfortably? We're going to be doing some serious stuff with Lara now. <laughs> Thank you for all the follows. Yep, I'm all, uh, I'm all set uh, if everyone is ready. I would like to welcome everyone on my on my Twitch right now. I'm also very happy to have you all here because I don't only represent Poland as the first Polish streamer to join the community streams. Thank you for the bits. Thank you so much. Thank you, Orange. <laughs> uh, but I also represent our Polish website, um, Polish official website, um, which is World of Tomb Raider. You can see the logo at the bottom, uh, but it will. I will also probably try to mention it. Um, um, Headmaster is also here, so he will be uh, posting some links uh, for our um, for YouTube and for our website, so everyone can feel free to drop by a follow or a subscription to our YouTube channel, which is growing and it's becoming like a huge archive. So thank you everyone, um, and I will just launch the game now. Hopefully I will do this correctly. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> thank you. Oh my god, and Sophie, thank you for the subscription. Oh my god, people, you're going crazy. <laughs> thank you so much, and I appreciate every single one of you. I hope you like my layout. I've been tweaking it all day to make it minimal, but still Tomb Raider-y, and I hope it works fine. By the way, if you... I'm sitting on my bed. How comfortable can I be right now? Um, so I'll start with my Sphinx Complex section right now. I hope everyone is feeling A-OK -okay and everyone is ready for... Oh my god, the hype train is growing. It's 88% already. Oh my god, you people are going crazy. <laughs> okay, so welcome to Giza, the most chaotic and most terrifying location of the game, I think. Except maybe for Cairo, but Cairo is another thing. There we go. Right. <laughs> what, what a hype train. Yeah, the hype train's like going absolutely crazy. I do have a few supporters. Squingle, you can see this. This is absolutely <laughs> crazy what's going on. Um, I don't... My God, people, thank you for the cheers. Uh, thank you for everything. Oops. Well, that didn't work. Jump up. Thank you, Laura. I don't normally wear glasses. I hope they're not interrupting because my secondary monitor is quite far away from me and I just uh, don't want to miss anything. Like all the chat. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, she already found the silver key and what more she can find here, right? Oh my god. Thank you for the subscriptions, everybody. 
Unsavory, thank you for the for the subs you gifted. Well, I do stream in general, not only Tomb Raider. So if you'd like to stay in touch, um, I do stream a lot of different stuff, like of course games, but um, like The Last of Us, a um, bit of Star Trek too, uh, because I'm a Star Trek fan, like big time. Tyranitz, I should know. I, I had to click the one of your your Instagram links and send pictures of your dog, and you have a very cute dog. Oh, thank you so much. He's actually napping somewhere in the room with me. I don't have a dog cam. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, Star Trek. I'm a big, big Star Trek fan. I do start, sometimes stream Star Trek Online, which I also tend to play on occasion. Um, it's also like one of my favorite games. Oh, thank you, Needy, for the cheers. Oh my God. <laughs> thank you. This is like big hype for me. I mean, I've never had so many people on stream. 104 people. Well, thank you. I'm glad you, you wanted to stay with me for a bit. And watch me try my best with this game. I do. I mean, this is my first Tomb Raider, and whilst everybody is like um, celebrating 25th anniversary, this is my 20th anniversary of Tomb Raider. Uh, my relationship with Tomb Raider. So um, I started when I was 14 years old. Uh, yeah, you can count, do the math. Um, <laughs> And basically, um, I've been stuck ever since. And Tomb Raider 4 was my first game uh, in the series. And I got stuck with it ever since. I never, like, ever thought that it's going to be the game that's going to stuck with me. And that was actually the game that... Oh my god, Hype Train Level 5? Did I see this correctly? Are you pe have you people gone insane? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my goodness. Um, I am going to do the secrets, if you don't mind, um, because why not? And I absolutely love doing secrets. Um, why not? Still, still early, in, at least for for me, it's still early. <laughs> um, it's actually 8pm, 8pm yeah, over you know, here, so... Saturday. I'm sure you don't sleep that early on a Saturday. No, not, not by a long shot, no. I would definitely sit <laughs> until very late in the night, probably watching Star Trek and playing Star Trek at the same time, or playing Tomb Raider. It's one of the two, two things I do, but I do love a lot of games like Assassin's Creed. Um, I am also on venture of replaying the old retro games which I loved, including um, Soul Reaver, uh, Thief series. Um, not sure if I have all the games though, so I might just limit myself to two. Um, but I just want to show and share the variety of all the games I love and which are like super important to me. Um, I also stream for my consoles and all of your support, all the subs, all the bits, everything will help me just build my love, my um, channel even better because what I'm doing right now is trying to aim for a capture card because I have like a huge library of games from Xbox 360 which can be played by uh, my Xbox One and I just would love to share them but streaming from console directly isn't like too great. I have very little control over things so I'd like to like have this option to to stream better and I lay off my PC because my laptop it's a gaming laptop but right now streaming and playing even to made a four is like woohoo uh, hold your horses right there Chris so I'm not gonna kill it right now but you know what I'm talking about it's like it's got a few years on it so oh my god level five hype train you people have gone insane and I really appreciate it yeah, Soul Reaver, I like Legacy of Kane as one of my favorite franchises too. I'm so sorry it's like a dead franchise right now. Oh, welcome, Ash. <laughs> yes, of course. Sure. By the way, everyone who has subscribed, um, please enjoy the um, emotes. I've actually used the emotes from, I mean, the graphics that you've been, you've introduced with the pixel thing for t during Tomb Raider 3 period. It's great being on the Crystal Twitch because I've got subscriptions from like all of our streamers 
Oh my god, you've got so many icons and emotes. Yeah, I've got, I've got the, the Gaming Mom Confesses, some Jill Croft, some Tomb of Ash. Oh my god, the there's a lot of them. Emotes, got Steve of War, got them all. Oh my god, you're <laughs> starting, a collector right now starting, on crystals. Starting a collection. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Megan, I absolutely love them. Actually, just after they were released, I got affiliated in my account and I could set up my uh, emotes. So I was like... Oh my god, I'm gonna do them with those pixel arts, and I did them like straight away just to be sure no one snatches them away from me. Okay, so um, Lara will now do some digging like a proper archaeologist do. Um, which is actually interesting. Uh, the, where does all the ground go? Where does all the earth and dirt and the sand go? I mean, there's a hole, but where did all the sand go? <laughs> well, thanks, Laurie. Hi, by the way. Alright, um, I'm gonna say for the first time since I started, because this level is probably gonna kill me like 500 times and before I beat it. This is like a huge death trap for everybody. <laughs> oh my god, Needy, stop cheering. <laughs> Needy is my friend for my job, and she's like a big stan of my streaming ever since I started. Big supporter and also a moderator here. So be careful with Needy. Okay, let's make sure that the bulls don't bother us. Actually, these are more like rams, I think. That's, that's my theory anyway. I mean, yeah, but I think they're not bulls, but... They work the same way. Okay, off you go to the cage. Um, hello, second ram. And go away. Okay. Nah. -uh. Am I gonna do this? Uh, no, no. Oh my god, can you believe this has never happened to me? This, like, never happens. Oh my god. Get in here. Uh, good ram. And now stay there. They want to see you again. So, only recently, because I will... I will, uh, I will confess right now, I have never been able to figure out what's the logic behind this, um, this section. Um, I basically found a solution, which is the combination that unlocks this riddle, because I was like, I don't know, I don't know what's the order, I don't know how I'm supposed to figure it out. And only recently, I I think I watched someone else, and they were talking about a lot of things about Tomb Raider, I don't remember who it was. And I found, and I realized that this scroll actually explains everything. Like, um, you need to go in alphabetical order, um... So, looking at these three symbols, you've got to push them, right? And basically, you go from the one that's highest in the alphabetical order to the lowest. It's, it has absolutely no logic, because uh, Egyptian alphabet is not or doesn't have the same order. And these symbols have, like, multiple meanings, so it's not going to be any way grounded in Egyptian culture or uh, their writing. But still... Um, this is the logic, so I got to start with the bird, and then uh, the to read, and then the, like, hot square. By the way, I find it super creepy that her head goes deep into the, in that, um, stone. It's kind of creepy. Um, so that opens a place where I can actually learn how am I supposed to open these in the right order. And of course, there's going to be tons of bats. So many. Yeah, so many bats in this game. I mean, I think this is the Tomb Raider that has the most bats in the entire franchise. By the way, am I not too loud in that comparison to the game? Um, I, oh, I can't tell since I have your your game or your stream muted, rather. Oh right. Um, actually, I was supposed to share. Um, if you can, yeah. Uh, okay, that I will. Guess I can't. I guess I can't really tell how how delayed the stream is compared to. Uh, it's supposed to be not much delayed at all, but um, I can 
technically it's gonna probably slow my stream down so i would prefer to it's, like, it, it seems like it's like a five second delay something like that yeah i think it shouldn't Three, be like too two, too much seconds. yeah i made sure it's going to be stable for twitch uh on discord i i tested it but if it's possible i would like to like avoid that if it's possible i hope you won't mind I, tr I tested it, but it like slowed down my stream output, and I don't want to like go tweaking right now. So this is the no way. Worries, yeah. So this is the way you find out how to press the others. Hi, Mooney. Welcome. Oh my God, there's so many people today. Mackers. Hi. Yeah, the piece of paper explains it in a very unexplainable way. <laughs> Thank you for following. Um, whoever is actually interested, this is like my childhood um, TV show that's doing the follow and subscription um, thing for me. I recently have been going through the things that like fascinated me as a child and I've gone through this series as well. Um, right, so I've got all these um, combinations already. Uh, I mean, not in my head because hell, I'm not going to remember them. But I did make a picture of them um, in on my phone, uh, every single one of them. So I'm just gonna use them, use those pictures instead. Um, so I'm just gonna go back and go with the button pushing. I'm just gonna open the pictures on my phone, unless I've deleted them for some unknown reason, and I will hold myself to the day I die. Let me see... Have I deleted them? No. Thank God, because I would hate myself. Um, so the first combination I'm going to try is going to be with the square. Push the button, Nora. Oh, she's so fussy sometimes. Um, right, so this is going to be second and the third is the birds, which also rhymes. Right, I don't remember which one actually opens. <laughs> uh, yeah, go ahead, use use the channel Redemptions. Uh, feel free to experiment. For people who actually uh, want to scare me, there are also some scare sounds for bits available, so feel free, although I will not be appreciative of if it's going to be badly timed, like it's going to make me die or something. Needy, thank you for subscription. Oh, Lycan, you cheeky Australian bastard. <laughs> thank you for that. Whoa, so many crocodiles. Whoa, so many crocodiles. No biting. Lara, this is not food. I do really like that you can actually change the targets for, for once, so you have like bigger control over who Lara is shooting at, uh, which was not a thing in the previous games. So, this game actually... Uh, oh my god, Lycan, why did you do this? And now I have to do his pistols for 15 minutes? Okay, let me set the timer. Because I was sure as hell, forget it. Um, timer... Is it 15 minutes? Yes. Okay. I'm gonna regret it, but here you go. You want it, you have it, Lycan. <laughs> Oh my god, for crying out loud, people. Who did that? Unsavory, of course. Why? <coughs> Snavide, people. Oh my god, I'm gonna get a heart attack. Ah, do you, so you have handicaps also. Yes, I do handicaps. I have. Let's see, let's see what you have. So. Oh no. <laughs> no save for 20 minutes. Oh no, don't... That, that, Pistols only for 15 minutes. That's already been chosen, so, yep. Um, I guess you only, you only have those two, really. Uh, yeah, there's no, no swearing thing, but I will try to restrain myself in general today, so don't worry. I wouldn't really call that a, a, a game handy yet, though. Oh, you have no idea how much an outlet this is for me in certain games. Uh, sometimes I, I just need to like swear them all the way to, <laughs> because otherwise I will be just so pissed. It's actually my so the, uh, the my the anger no event. Save for twenty minutes would be really hard if it got to like the end. I'm not yes. sour. <laughs> mean. I mean that de well that I'm depends what you're going. Ash, 
I am enlightened. Okay. That's <laughs> that that's the word. Okay. What's Ash been saying? <laughs> oh, you should just watch the VOD. I don't think I could even um yeah. summarize. I don't think, uh, yeah, sometimes I just want to watch the VODs for, uh, for whatever Ash is saying, just for the sanity's sake. Okay, next will be the red one, I think. I think it's a red one. Do you think it's a red color? I think it's a red. Um, but why, well, it starts with the bird, goes with the chopped off square, and ends up with the reeds. Um, I had a little book, but I can't find it. I made that book when I was just like um, playing this game for the first time. I just made myself notes. I draw those symbols in that little notebook. That notebook is like this, this size, so it's very small. Um, but it helped me pass the game. Not only this one, because it also helped me with other games. Uh, right, so I think I should go this way. Yep, the bats tell me I went the right way. If you ever lost, uh, follow the enemies. If they're spawning, that's the right way to go. Also, for people who don't know, uh, these torches, if they're lit, that means you haven't been to that place and that's the place to go. Um, so, yeah. Okay, more bats? Yep, of course, why not? Any more? Right. Uh, I don't know in which order I should do this. I don't think it matters, but if it does, well, blimey. Yeah, but I think it's fine. Yep, yeah, that's where the key is. Now I have to find a way to open the door. By the way, these flares, if you put, like, multiple of them, it becomes so bloody bright, it's like scorching your eyes out. But they did, they outdid themselves with the lighting in this game. I mean... It was so much improved upon from like two and three. It's it really looks like a huge improvement. Yeah, bats were such monsters in Tomb Raider games. If you played first Tomb Raider, the first thing that's gonna attack you are basically the bats, like, and that's that's just a thing. Uh, you're lucky that the reboot game you were playing recently doesn't have attacking bats. Um. Yeah, bats are cute. In Tomato Anniversary, they're not so cute uh, in here. Okay, that's a secret. Which requires... I, I could actually just stand on it, but I just don't feel like... Um, so... If there are a few things that I actually appreciate and I've learned from Tomb Raider. Um, one of them is is the accent. If you hear my British accent, it first of all started with um, Keely Hawes with a Tomb Raider legend. I was so trying to mimic her accent from the I, game. I was, <laughs> I was kind of wondering about that because you told me you're Polish. Yes, I am. Dzień dobry. <laughs> but then every time I hear you talk, I'm like, he sounds... Yeah. Your, your your accent sounds mixed. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's, it's it, when and that actually depends on what I'm playing because when I'm playing The Last of Us, I will sound American, like 100% verified. People on in the chat can actually vouch for this. Oh, I, I guess been I'll watching have me. To judge. Yeah, you can. I mean, I will not sound like a Native American 100% because it's gonna be like changing, but I will definitely not sound British in any capacity. I mean, right now I am sounding British because I can hear myself and I have like slight control of uh, my accent but in general am I going the right way? No I think I'm turning right right when I should turn left. Oh well it's it's dark so I actually can't see. Uh, flare Lara please. Yes like and that means Czech which means a high in Polish. That's absolutely correct. And I also uh, have activated a redeem if anyone wants to learn like a phrase or a word in Polish. And then there is a redemption that I can actually help you, or actually help you learn how that, how our ling English, uh, sorry, how our language sounds. What was I going for? I have no idea. How our English sounds, well, that, that's the logic. We don't, we don't use English. I mean, Jesus, Chris, what the hell? Okay, so the next one is the blue one. I think it's the water one, so it's going to be the 
pain in the ass labyrinth, which everyone hates. Uh, yeah, I think the blue one is for. Oh, you did. How how was it, Megan? If you're still here, how was your how was your chest? I, I know, right now I sounded like an American trying to say chest in Polish, which just sounds so I ridiculous. I don't know if she's here. If she's if she's back yet from um getting ready. Oh, she's back. Okay. Awful. Awful. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's no big. It's no surprise everyone who's like not natively uh, Slavic languages are just so different because we have even different pronunciation of our alphabet. So we don't pronounce uh, you don't pronounce the letters individually the same way as you pronounce them in the words. Uh, I had a redeem. Okay, uh, what was the words you unsavory little runt? Oh my god. Um, can anyone translate it for me? Because I don't think I know the proper, f like, order of the phrasing. Uh, I don't think I have... I don't know... I'm not sure if I know runt as a, a word. I mean, I know what it means. Alright. To podejrzany mały herlaku. Ah, yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah, our language is so different from English. Um, but... I'm bilingual in to an extent, so I have no problem in like speaking in two languages at the same time. Like maybe not at the same time, but okay. So the water one is going to be this one. Uh, starts with the slope, then the bird, and then is, the reeds. Um, is Bart is Barto the correct way of saying it? Bartos. Or am I saying it wrong? Bartos. Oh, okay. Ash, well, then, please. Megan has not been saying it correctly to me. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, I'm probably saying the Megan way, and that's why he said that. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah. It, like, my full name, uh, like, my first name is Krzysztof, which is Chris or Christopher. But, yeah, the words... The word is, like, not exactly 100%, like, the same in pronunciation. Okay, this is the labyrinth, so this is going to take like next five hours, so if you have popcorn or like want to go to sleep, make some tea or whatever. Bartos. Bartos. Right? Yeah, you're very close. Bartos. Bartos. Okay, I don't want to, I feel like if I try to roll my tongue on stream, I'll sound stupid, so <laughs> I, I'll just not do that. Maybe I'll practice off mic. That maybe another time we can practice off offline and and you can uh, and on the next stream or whatever <laughs> you can just like shine with your with your polish like a pro you know because i have been on earl's stream uh, a while back and actually have um written him words in our language but with english pronunciation and he nailed them like he was so spot on this is like exactly how you should pronounce these words so I think I can I can teach you, but it would just require just a few sessions, or at least like writing them down for you. I have my hands on the keyboard, so I can't write it now for you. But yeah, I can definitely try and teach you. Okay, so this is the labyrinth I'm going to be lost in for the next like six hours. So yeah, if anyone wants to get a nap or something like it, that's that's a good time basically. All right, good night, Chris. Yeah, night night, Neha. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> Yeah. Uh, by the way, speaking of pronunciation and languages, do you know that I was unable to pronounce the letter R in Polish properly uh, until I've learned it from, watch out, Angelina Jolie, and she did, actually. and she actually never pronounced anything in Polish. That's the funny part. Uh, or at least I didn't hear it. Um, basically, how did I learn it? Because our Polish letter R is a bit different. Uh, we pronounce it like R, which, well, you don't have that kind of sound. Um, your R is basically very... <laughs> Ash, stop with the, with the swear words. <laughs> My God. Um, you're going... Oh, you just, you're just being you, I know. Um, so, she was playing in Beowulf. That uh, Everyone knows Beowulf and Angelina Jolie. She was, like, fully digitally naked there. Uh, with boobs showing and everything, uh, but she was she was speaking in, in English, but with a very weird accent. So uh, the language, I mean, the accent she used was like a mix of Dutch, I think, 
and her pronunciation of the letter R was actually more pronounced, like very much like in Polish. Uh, so in the end, I started to mimic her pronunciation, and I actually learned how to pronounce R in Polish, letter R in Polish, the right way. So thank you, Angelina. I am not. I don't. I know that you're not watching this, but maybe one day this video will get to you, and you will know that you have taught someone his own native language properly. Because every time I used to say the letter R in Polish, it sounded like F, because I, uh, I couldn't like pronounce it the way it's supposed to be. Um, so yeah, thank you, Angelina, for teaching me and willingly and uh, knowingly. <laughs> of my own native tongue. Oh, I think this is where I'm supposed to go. Yeah, I figured it out after like wandering in these labyrinths for like an hour or so, so stay tuned. I will let you know when I'm on track. I think I'm getting on track, but I don't want to jinx it, you know. This labyrinth is like the I evilest don't like, thing. I don't like the sound of someone having a challenge for me. What do you mean, sound challenge? Someone in chat says they have a challenge for me. Oh, what sort of challenge? Now I'm intrigued. You know, I should have actually introduced like a redeemable um, challenge for Neha. <laughs> that would have been interesting. Yeah, Hasha, I'm not even gonna try with that. Uh, that's uh, that's that's not. That's not <laughs> Sounds like that. a Frenchman. Oh my god. Uh, okay, that was a close one. I heard that. Especially door if you're open. not even gonna tell me like where it is, what language, like I, that, that's just like, you know, a shot in the dark. Okay, so this is opened. Yeah, I think I'm on track. I think I should do this in less than five hours, actually. Um, Wait, time for Google. Googling the word. Oh, he's also in Poland, I guess. Who's in Poland? Pasta. Oh, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, there's a there's a huge community actually. There's a lot of uh, level editor community from Poland. Wuch? Is that how you say it? Are you trying to pronounce my home home city? Is it what you're trying to achieve? Is it? I say it right. Yeah. You, yeah. You said my my home city actually. That's the name of my city I'm I'm streaming from right now. All right. What what's my prize? <laughs> Bartosz, don't try to give her the tongue twisters. I can't even repeat those things, so <laughs> don't. Okay, I need some air. Alright, you guys are just being bullies now. I'm not even gonna. <laughs> that. Well, at least for once. The moderator once... is being a bully. Needy? Uh, what are you are doing? You? No, he's not gonna, not gonna choose me for any other streams again. What's he doing? <laughs> You're sabotaging me. This is sabotage. You're fired. Yeah, that one was close. Gladly. Oh, there's a med pack. Well, what, don't mind if I do, because unlike other streamers, I don't have cheats enabled. Because certain someone never told you know, me Google, whether I was supposed to use them Google. or not. Google Translate actually does do like a voice translation. Yeah, it does, like, but it's not always spot I on. Like, I can't even, I can't even repeat. Oh, these. the no save feature has been disabled right now. I think I have, might have saved during that time, so. Like, I don't remember. Besides, en besides English, I'm not. So I'm super. Uh, like I was, I was born in uh, America. I was born in New York and everything. Yeah. My parents. My parents are from India, like my yeah. parents were bo both born and brought up in India and everything, but they never oh really my God, spoke got the key. my native language at home, so my mom knows like four languages and my dad knows three. Oh my God. Because in India is, India has like so many different languages, so Hindi is like the national language, but then there's like a bunch of different languages depending on which region yeah, you say it's, or whatever you're in. Yeah, it's, it's more depending it's, on regions, I think. And they sound really different too. So yeah, my mom can speak three different languages from India and they all oh three my of them God. sound completely different. But so I, I I never like learned any of them fluently because my parents Shit. spoke to my brother and I in English growing up. But I know like 
I know like a little bit of Hindi just from like watching a lot of like movies and stuff growing up. Oh. So yeah, like hearing Polish, I'm like, they're <laughs> I'm like, it's just so different to me because yeah, none Slavic of our languages, languages, yeah, none of our languages really. It's like you're you're not really like rolling your tongue a lot and stuff like that for for those. So um, I think we do, but we do that in totally different moments and completely different uh, sounds. We, we we don't have the same sound vocabulary if that's the phrase so even the way we read our letters where like we're reading an alphabet it's completely different to to yours uh but it's like very consistent when we say a word that has letter s it's going to sound the same way almost every time okay now i'm lost i can't exit that bloody tunnel can um can i just like uh no bar bartosh i'm sorry look i feel bad i can't really say it well but I have not been to Poland. I think I've been to a decent amount of places. Uh, Megan is probably one of the few people I've met that's been to just like way more places than I have, but um, though I have not been to Poland. Well, certainly something to make up for. Oh my god, I'm just like about to die, so this is the perfect time to... Oh, thanks agent, thanks for... What was that? Subscription or follow? Yeah, following. Thank you for the follow. Um, I'm completely, like, distracted from what I was doing. Okay, so I think I have all the four keys. Oh my god, yes, I do. Um, so now I've got to use them. Oh, that was a very close call when it comes to jumping. Alright, so which way? Yeah, that way. Well, that wasn't so hard. I mean... As, as usually, the bloody tunnel, uh, underwater labyrinth is like uh, the death of me, but yeah, that's the right way. I never remember. Yeah, no, no, Orange, I'm not Jersey Croft, that's Jill. Like, Jill <laughs> has the, the accent, I don't, so she takes that title for me. There are so I many cities Croft. that you would like to, you, you would need to see, like, um, there is the city Torun, which is like a bit north from from where I live. Not 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 close, not far. It's just like average, like two two hours drive, something like a two three hours drive. Uh, Torun is like one of the most beautiful cities you could ever imagine. It has like sixteen, um, seventeenth century architecture. It's beautiful, and you would love you will fall in love in the old town. Uh, here comes the bat. Yeah, Torin is my, like, my haven. Like, whenever I have the chance to go for a vacation, or even for a day, basically, I always like to visit Torin. Okay, that's a trap. Ceiling that descends and trying to kill me. Oh my god, don't even get me started on Polish numerals. So these statues are going to be needed at the... Oh my god, these spikes are very close. Um, uh, nope. Nope. Not getting bitten. I mean, uh, cut. Yeah, Torren is... It's beautiful, and it has that light festival um, every summer at the turn at the end of August. Uh, it has like the one of the most incredible monumental light installations that blow your mind, and it's all arranged in the old town. So all of the old buildings are like lit up. They have huge projections, sometimes even holographic things, and they can blow your mind the way they look. It's just absolutely beautiful. I would recommend it going there at that time. It's absolutely beautiful. And here we go. Time to visit the pyramids, shall we? Yeah, the pyramids is like one of my favorite levels because it's very like chaotic. It looks like pure chaos. And there are these like huge chaos, oversized <laughs> scorpions. Oh god. Yeah. Yep. Just Kill that with fire. Well, we did have the flamethrower, unfortunately, which is something well, to suggest did. to Dallas. Like, let's bring a flamethrower into the game. Uh oh, it's coming for me. Nope. Nope. 
And what's the worst thing when they bite you? Look, you're selling your Nopecroft. I'm so proud of you. Yeah, Sam, I think it would be either, um... I mean, I'm personally fascinated with the ancient pagan times, so if I were to choose, I would go for like an abandoned ancient and never dis discovered a pagan shrine that still has like some sort of powers going on in it. Uh, no, you're not gonna bite me. What happens when these scorpions bite you is that the screen goes twists, uh, goes twisted and very disorientating. Um, you are gone, and you are gone too. Goodbye. So, next we need to go over here. Don't mind if I do a little jump. Yeah, I mean, the pagan history, there's so much unfound and unknown, because when Christianity took over, many places were completely ruined, desecrated, destroyed, and, well, basically, uh, not a lot of is not known, like, we don't even know which particular... Ah, made it. What a brilliant timing. <laughs> yeah, thanks Needy for that one. And I've got one extra key, which uh, you normally don't find. This key is for a secret, and I'm gonna save because, man, this is sometimes hard to get. So you gotta kill this scorpion very fast, otherwise that option for the secret just goes away, and you don't have an option to. Uh, yeah, thank you for the hydrate, Terenete. Uh, much appreciated. I will actually grab a bottle of water. Oh my god, yeah, I'm, I keep talking and my mouth is dry. That was a good point. You get good timing, Turnate. Yeah, and the hidden cutscene, that's right, Bartosz is, is right. There's a hidden cutscene which you normally don't get because he dies if you miss, if you don't get the, in time to save him. Uh, right, I need to go out. Okay, let's shimmy to the left. Yeah, you can't kill the scorpion with pistol. I use the revolver because it's the fastest way. Um, yeah, pistol only run. You can't you can't get the secret if you run the pistols. That's one of the downsides. Oh, indecisive auto. Thank you for the follow. Uh, it's a huge coincidence that this stream actually turned out to be on Saturday because I usually stream Tomb Raider on Saturday, so it's like very fitting that I'm actually running it right now. So Neha, Megan, you have impeccable timing when when choosing when things are happening. Nice. Yeah. I mean I just recently finished Angel of Darkness and now and won the memory lane with uh, last revelation. So technically, this is like the these are the saves from my last playthroughs. I'm just continuing what I started. How was your birthday, by the way? Um. Well, I didn't really pay, pay much attention to the birthdays thing. I just yeah, I just try to spend time with either my family or like my close friends. Uh, this year was like mostly with me, me, and my, me and my dog basically, um, because my parents, well, they. They're kind of like doing their separate things right now and they don't have much time during the day, so it's just me. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't. That's a living nightmare for me. Yeah, when you're being like. Nope. When they're falling nope. all nope. over you, that's there. just. Yeah, when they're falling all over you, like. That's creepy. And that's very much wrong. <laughs> so, so many levels. Uh, thank nope. you, Bat. Uh, we don't talk to Bats. Goodbye. Now there's a little thing to shoot down. Actually, Lara, don't put that away. Uh, the two gentlemen which need helping to relieve the misery. 
And ropes are back. Um, who any, anyone who loves ropes, Ash, I'm looking at you and your famous uh, jump in the catagoom section. There we go. Well, let your legs down, Laura, for crying out loud. Don't be like Hetty and, you know, hit her, her feet or legs onto the spikes. He likes to do that. No, Please not me. a chance with me, no. Not a chance. I'm very caring for Lara. I would That's never... That's good. At least, at least one of you are. Well, someone has to. I mean, someone has to keep up the good name for Tomb Raider caring people, you know? <laughs> at least one. If everyone chose to be the black sheep of the community, someone has to be the bright one, right? I don't think he's here, so... <laughs> Damn! I feel like I would hear. Someone clip that and send that to you. him. I want him to say that. So I'm sure someone will tell him. No, just kidding. I mean, Ash has done so many incredible things for the community. I could never like really hate <laughs> or like really didn't like you know bully him. He's like the bully. And uh oh, well that was bad. That didn't happen. No one saw that. There we go. No, that wasn't on purpose. That was neither. Jesus, just didn't catch. That's exactly like him. You didn't see a thing. No. <laughs> oh my god. Who did that? Kathy Ann. Well, thank you for the alert. Down, Laura. There we go. Oh, nice. Very quickly. Yeah, these ropes are sometimes just like... Too much. Um, and yeah, just need to position myself in the middle. Oh, golly. There's, the sound of these spikes is like death, death, death. It's like every time. And death. Goodbye. Bye, Laura. Sorry, I just... I think I jinxed it. <laughs> I think I jinxed it. I'm, I'm just gonna be keep, keep on dying now. Redemption... Actually, those were translations to Polish. I think I just need to be, like, more precise because the majority of my viewers are, like, English-based, so... Uh, those translations were supposed to be to Polish. And I just died because she didn't stop. Oops. That didn't happen either. Like, no one saw a thing. And it doesn't count in statistics either, so... Uh, lay off me. No one saw that. Never happened. Absolutely never. Yeah, I died terribly, and I'm fucking this one up. Pardon my French. Heady, pardon my French. <laughs> yeah, my pronunciation of, of my French is probably terrible, so... But I can do a, a French accent sometimes, if I'm like tuned into it or if I listen to it, um, I can tune into like speaking in English with a French accent. I would have to like listen to something before, but yeah, I, I can sometimes tune into it. Go down, Lara, for crying out loud. Why are you so stubborn? I can channel my inner Janice, yeah. It's early yet. Move along, ma chère. You make the place look crowded. Okay. <laughs> this one goes down with the heavy equipment. Uh, what the hell are you picking up, Lara? Uzis. You got some pro dotting skills. Yeah, the trick is that he actually... Those beams are very slow. So, uh, if you like... And into the side, and you're not like directly in front of him, but like to the side, and you jump out crooked, it makes him miss her. So that's that's a trick I've learned by playing. Basically, I'm gonna save though, because the ropes are coming again. God damn these ropes! I mean, I love the fact that they've introduced ropes, and I'm not mad at them about that. But the technique of actually constantly like oh, thank you for the follow. 
like keeping the button press all the time uh, it's terrible um, but on the other hand I'm also glad that they've never reintroduced um, ropes in Angel of Darkness because considering how the general control system works in that game by default in the vanilla version adding ropes to that would be like a very big no-no I would never I would never play that game probably because if there would be ropes in that that control system but otherwise I absolutely love Angel of Darkness it's just that I'm very glad and thankful that there's no ropes in there because that would be just impossible okay so time to get out of this place and go for more keys uh, so I'm looking for three more these will be used in the Great Pyramids oh it got me damn those those blades I mean there's so many blade type of traps in this game like they're absolutely crazy they went over the top with doing the traps okay scorpion oh my god two scorpions forgot about that oopsie god damn did I just waste all of my revolver ammo Yep, now I'm screwed up as possible. You know, I'm gonna go with the shotgun then. By the way, Bartos, you've been in Egypt. Did you ever find any button like this? I mean, I've never heard of any buttons in the side of the pyramid, so... Go away. Evil scorpion. So I need to go up there. By the way, that sca that scary sky with that storm in the background—it's super, like, it's totally like terrifying. Such pure chaos. You can you can see something bad is coming. Oh my god! Well, that was a very bad ladder descent. Like, you descend this rope, and I mean this ladder this way only once. Uh, okay, they will be just pits, so that's going to be fine. There we go. Yeah, the monkey swing is sometimes so well hidden, so you don't always know if it's there. Yeah, and I one of the places I always wanted to go is to go to Egypt and... It will definitely look for buttons in the sides of the pyramids because who knows what you can open, you know. I have been to Egypt once. Only only Cairo though, but I was really young so I don't remember anything. Yeah, you probably wouldn't notice any buttons. You need to know what you're looking for. Yeah, that's one of my like biggest dreams of a lifetime to actually um, visit Egypt. There's not many places like I would like super want to go, but Egypt is like one of them. It's it's totally up there. Ah. Right, got this opened. Oh, Constantine! I just saw your. Uh, I mean, I can't say I'm a fan of scorpions, but they don't. Surprisingly, they don't scare me as much as spiders. Still, spiders is still number one. Well, you'd still be afraid of scorpions in this size. Okay, yes, they're very big in this game, so do do not like. But I, it's just spider. It's just the eight. It's the eight legs. I just don't like that. They're just. So you, so you're afraid of the water spiders known as See, octopuses? Jill, Jill, Jill understands me. They're the absolute worst. <laughs> just kidding. You know, octopus is eight. a underwater spider, so you're afraid of that uh, too. Yeah, but octopuses aren't as bad. They're not as creepy. Like I don't. I don't mind octopus. So you're generalizing by the type of legs. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, crabs are underwater spiders too. Are you afraid of crabs as well? I'm uh -oh. not really afraid of crabs. Can you okay, believe that? The thing is, is there's two things about spiders. They have the eight creepy crawly legs, and then and they have like all those eyes too. It's yeah, like I think a combination. There's... 
the two. <laughs> well, I eight guess. eyes and eight legs. Okay, got it. So aliens with eight eyes and eight legs don't come here. They will not be very friendly. No, I'll uh, no prop um, my way out. Right, there we go. If there's ever a spider on my wall, I just like stop what I'm doing and I scream and, you and leave? my boyfriend comes over and gets rid of it. But this doesn't kill them, right? Because they're useful. Yeah. Well, that's good. Thank God, because I was just gonna, you know, freak out about killing spiders. I really never minded any insects except like wasps and um, what's the other thing that's also like stings you for no reason? Um, hornets. Those fuckers are so awful that I just absolutely hate those things. Hornets and wasps? It, it's a no go. It's, oh, it's, it's poor, totally no. My poor dog, when she was a puppy, she's, and she hasn't learned her lesson. When she sees wasps outside, she pounces on them and tries to chase them. Oh my and god. she got stung. That's not very self-preservational. Yeah, she got stung by one, like, right below her nose. Oh. And she was crying like crazy, and um, she's a little... I think she was only, like, five months old, or four uh, or five months old. Well, my... And you'd think! You would think after that... that she, she would learn, learn her yeah. Lesson ...and be scared, but Poor no, thing. she still continues to try to jump and chase them all the time. So... What was actually, I'm not sure if it's funny, but what's actually interesting that my dog has a huge respect for anything that like looks like a bee, like a bumblebee. He will just walk out of their path. And he's never been bitten or stung by any of those things when he was with me. But I do feel that he had like a previous encounter and he's just avoiding them from experience. So he's like wise in that department. So he's just not messing around with them. When he hears something buzzing and it's like huge like uh like a huge bumblebee or, or normal bee he was just like avoid them in in total just absolutely walking off their path so he has huge respect for those things yeah doing a uzi out of pistols more beautiful light i love the torch lighting yeah the torches are amazing i mean they do a lot of like effects to make sure that these plays look looks believable. Oh yeah, my god! I mean, for the early games, it's impressive. Obviously, now. Yeah, it's nineteen ninety nine. How many games had like these lush colors? I mean, most of PS one games had very like washed off colors because they were like limited in that department. And like Tomb Raider tried to excel in this department every time. Every game tried to be better, more colorful, um, more lush. Uh, they try to put more details, they try to like overcome the limitations of the system because all of them like were played always on on PS1 and PS1 had its limitations just from the start but they always try to add a little extra to make those plays more believable in a way, like make them more full of detail. By the way, Chris, uh, yep. Megan wanted me to ask you about how long do you think um, your your levels will be now, so she she knows how much time she has to. Care. Um. Well, normally when I did my practice run uh, this week, it took me like an hour forty five minutes, something like that. But I'm not in a hurry, and I died a couple of times, so maybe two hours. I don't know, something around that time. From now or totally? From the beginning, yeah, that was the entirety from like the beginning of um, of the Sphinx complex to the end of the game. So then, like an hour. Am I streaming like for that long? Am I like just like half an hour already? I'm gonna notice. I completely don't feel the passage of time now. I'm like. I think it's been about an hour. Really? Okay. Yep. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's. Yeah, I completely don't feel it. I just totally don't, don't feel like there's any passage of time besides the progress in the game, but I never play with a timer, so I never really cared for the times. 
No, wrong. The bats. Always the bats. Actually, how many? How much ammo do I have for my crossbow? Yeah, Megan is mm. the prisoner of her cat right now. Of the cat? That's why she's like. Uh, so a cat is napping on the lap. Is that the situation? Mhm. Mm right, I get it. I used to have a cat with my dog together, and they were going along pretty well. So yeah, the, I know the feeling. My cat used to nap on sometimes on me and I wouldn't be able to move and so I never let him to like go onto my lap when I was about to go to work because then I would have to call in and say I'm not able to go to work because a cat is sitting on me so cat owners will understand am I coming the right way? no I think I came from here Nope, that's where it came from. Um, so I think I should go... Oh, I hear a doggy. I hear a doggy. And another one. Sorry, jackals, I don't have time for you guys. By the way, there was a passage I haven't checked. I just want to be sure. Yeah, so you can let, let Megan know that she can... She can just rest under the dog, under the cat, I will try not to hurry. If that's the reason why she was asking. Um, I, Bartosz, I will be raiding Crystal Stream, and Nehan and Megan have prepared some videos, I think. You mentioned that you had some videos or something. And Megan has some stuff. Um, yep. I think that's true. I'm not sure if she's going to show that actual videos or not, but she she just got some some stuff I think from the office that she's been trying to digitize. So all right, I would let her speak to that. Oh my god, I can't click the link. Can someone just like I don't know, take a picture for me? <laughs> Yeah, okay. Scorpions, black scorpions are always bad. Always hated them. Ah, uh, yeah. I know what you're talking about. Sometimes when my dog lies like with me on the bed or on the couch and I need to get off somewhere, I'm just like trying to like for example, when I need to go pee, and you try to hold it in because he's sleeping so peaceful, I just don't dare to inter interrupt the nap. I mean, he's a bit older dog. Um, I'm He's been with me for almost uh, four years. I've adopted him from a pound when he was about six. So he's right now around ten years old, so he's a bit older pop right now. Uh, but he's a super big sweetheart, and... I just don't dare to interrupt his sleeps. There we go. Go away, stupid, evil. Just hate those things. Um, I need to find a torch. Where will I find the torch? Maybe this will help me. Oh wait, I know. The torch is in a different part of the corridor. So I need to go there. Yeah, here's the torch. By the way, if anyone noticed, something happens to Lara's hand. Like, really messed up thing. Like, it just changes color and... I think it has the graphics from... I mean, textures from all around her body, including the torch, which is kind of weird and creepy. It happens every time, it's not related to versions or anything like this. I've seen that even on the PS1 version, so there is a bug. Yeah, the hand basically dies. Alright, let's do the riddle, shall we? We need a bag of sand, which we picked up earlier. Yep. That's for Earth. Uh, we need to fill up the water skin. Water skin? 
I don't know how to pronounce it. What is keen or what is kin? How do you read that in English? Uh, which, which what, word? Water skin or water skin? Water skin? I don't know. Yeah, okay, so I go with water skin. No. I've always been pronouncing it wrong then. <laughs> Thanks, the thirding Elysium for the sandalet. Um, okay, so water is the third one, not the middle. And there's a cool riddle with the water skin. With, with, I will keep pronouncing it incorrectly. With the two water skins. Uh, where's the jerry can? There he is. There we go. Now for the torch. Oh, level builders. Oh, they come with so many crazy things, but they always work. I mean, well, almost. But yeah, most of the time the TRL is just like mind blowing. Why these mummies sound like they were throwing up? I have no clue, but it's absolutely awful. Go away. Lara's uninterested. What group? Level editor group? Yeah, the mummy noise. It's it's like throwing up, basically. Sorry, doggies. Like, absolutely not gonna happen. Bad doggies. By the way, I don't think anything was actually ever found in the, beneath the master burst. I think they were like picked clean before the archaeology kicked in. Go away, that scorpion. Here's scorpions. Yeah, shotgun is like one of my favorite weapons in the game because it's super effective and it makes a lot of noise. It makes a big, big boom. Is it your favorite? Yeah, I mean, I like the revolver because it kills in one or two shots, but most of the time I rely on the shotgun. Uh -huh. I think it's like my favorite weapon in the, in the game. I mean, I do like shotguns in general, but I think they made it the best in Tomb Raiders and Tomb Raider 4 especially. Recently, someone posted on Twitter the damage, how much every weapon, uh, how much damage every weapon does. To enemies and basically in Tomb Raider 1 shotgun was like OP it had the most damage so if you had like targeted the enemy it would just like deal most damage yeah the revolver is cool I really love it and to be honest it I think it's like one of the best weapons in the game hands down when it comes to revolver but it's like OP it does too much damage too quickly and you're done with the enemies same goes for the Desert Eagle in Tomb Raider 3 so if I had to choose, I think I would still go with the shotgun. There's a map pack, can't miss it. Yeah, I've never used the manual aim. I mean, never used the manual aim and never used the white shot ammo. It's the most useless thing in the game. Alright, 
That's done with the bats. There we go. Um, when I was listening yesterday to Dallas, I was like very heartwarmed because he has a very similar approach to me when it comes to Tomb Raider. Um, I will say for the record that my favorite game is this one because it was my first. It started my journey with Tomb Raider and basically uh, I learned English through Tomb Raider, Tomb Raider and Lara. But if I had to like choose, um, I mean, I like every every era of Tomb Raider had something that I learned to like um, and everyone has something that I disliked I think this is the right monkey this is the one that's speechless but I will try well hands over mouth yeah, yeah this is a speechless one it pulls on the liver in the Speak liver no evil. see no evil and hear no evil yeah too bad that the other two will actually attack you <laughs> so they do evil they just don't speak and that's all they, they don't see but because they're invisible but they still like kill you and, like bite you or scratch you I don't remember I never actually summoned them any time recently so I don't remember what they do they scratch you like the to make the three monkeys um, all right just uh, slide down Okay, so we're going here. Oh, no worries. I just had to because my throat is like... I'm Drink more water! Uh, it actually has nothing to do with water. I, two months ago, had COVID and it kind of left oh, me no. with this annoying cough that c comes and goes. And I just have to like... Oh my god, I forgot about this guy here. Uh, it wasn't very like severe or anything like it. I, I just sat at home through the entire thing, uh, but it left me with that coming and going cough that kind of pisses me off because I have like a week of freedom and there's no Glad coughing at all. Glad you recovered, regardless. Yeah, I mean, unfortunately because of that, I can't be like vaxxed because there's like a three month waiting period after you've been um, positive. I mean, I haven't been even tested but I knew I had COVID because my dad had and I immediately came down with all the symptoms. I didn't go for tests and I was self-isolating myself because of my pub so I just kept walking around the neighborhood with him avoiding people in general disinfecting my hands and all that kind of stuff so I made sure that I'm safe and I know for a fact that none of my neighbors ever contracted anything because I made sure of that I asked afterwards. Uh, but yeah, I was 100% sure I had it because I've never been, I never had a sickness that affected me that in that particular way. Yeah, I'm feeling all good. I mean, um, it's been two months since I had it and besides the returning cough, I have no issues. But it's that one thing that just keeps coming and going and sometimes I just need to cough without any, any reason. It's, it's, it's annoying, but I'm coping. Nope. It's actually interesting that we don't get too many of the red um, Bedouins, ninjas. People call them ninjas, but I think they're like Arab warriors or something like it. Uh, nope. Right, um, there's a med pack. No, that's actually grenade ammo. I think it's one of my favorite ammo. Um, no, actually, I like the super ammo mo more. It's good when multiple enemies attack you at the same time. You just shoot one grenade and it will e eventually pull them all apart. And there is one secret down there, which I'm willing to collect because it's health and it's a map pack and I absolutely want it. By the way, the camera in this game is fine, but let's be honest about this angle. I mean, for real. I mean, seriously? I mean, seriously? Can the camera, like, not go on her boobs? <laughs> this is absolutely so ridiculous. 
Like the camera could go up and look at her from the top, but no, you've got to like see the boobs. And one of my favorite cutscenes. I mean, it's just a flyby, but I absolutely love it. Yeah, I love the music, and Peter Connolly outdid himself. This was his first Tomb Raider game, and he nailed the soundtrack. To me, it's like, his soundtracks for the classics are one of the best. I mean, I can appreciate um, soundtracks for 1, 2, and 3, but I think um, Peter Connolly had just, like, the spot-on idea to make it more grounded with the story rather than just keep repeating the Tomb Raider theme all over and over. So I think he just did an absolute smashing job and I'm about to be smashed by these pieces of blocks there you go goodbye <laughs> yeah I'm not falling for that one Don't tell me it spawns now. Oh, of course it does. Just wasted a bolt. But that's... Yeah, this one is... I remember that this was one of the most pain in the ass locations in the game because you do one step wrong and you fall down the entire thing and either you die or you have to start over. So I remember that this was a big pain and I... And over the years, because I've been playing this game for like 20 years, um, I've learned how to how to play this more or less, um, not but not dying and not dying stupidly, because that can happen like almost every time. Goodbye, Mr. Uh, Scarab. I'm not interested. Uh oh. Yeah, that was a close one. Luckily, not that bad. Yeah, that's what I meant. One full step, and you're down. Uh oh. Oh, that was a last. That was a close call. Um. Trying to remember where do I need to go. Yep, that's the right way. Uh, now I've got to like. Yep, enemies are spawning, you're going right. Uh, yeah, and Peter Connolly did himself with the soundtracks for Angel of Dark, for the soundtrack for Angel of Darkness. It was like. I mean, the only thing I would have added, because I'm like a huge symphony music stan. Oh hey, hey Laurie, thank you, thank you for the bits, much appreciate it. Uh, one thing I would add would be choirs, because I think that's the only thing that's actually missing. But other than that, it's absolutely beautiful. Oh, you're going off, uh, Mooney, that's fine, good night. I uh, Thank you for dropping by, take care, and I'll see you probably on your stream uh, when you're on. Or mine, whichever comes first. Um, which way do I need to... Oh, right, I need to go up. Up. Uh, save. Nope. And that's where I'm finished with this section of the level. Voila! I think I didn't die. I don't know. If I did... Uh, I'm sorry. Right, do I have any revolver ammo? 24 bullets. Well, yes, please. So many scorpions. Yeah, they're done. Sorry I didn't save your, bu your buddy friend. <laughs> Wasn't fast enough. Uh. Yeah, it's, it's like you, you can see that something bad is happening if beasts like these are coming out of 
like every hole, every crevice. And this is where you get the secret from that guy I saved in the armory before. So, yeah, he's not even bothered. He's not dramatizing. He's like a pure soldier thing. He doesn't really, he's unbothered. Um, speaking of Egypt, um, I know I keep talking about it, but I'm still like mesmerized by the way it was realized. Did you near her see the golden parade of pharaohs from Egypt from April? That was like, no. oh, you've got to absolutely see this. And whoever hasn't, you've got to see this. Whoever loves Egypt will absolutely appreciate it. Because Egypt is like, well, there are many things happening in Egypt right now. First, they're building a totally new capital and they're moving every administrative functions from Cairo. Um, so that's one thing. Secondly, they are built, they've built like the world's largest museum in the world dedicated to Egypt. Sorry, guy, I think I hit him once and I had to kill him now. Sorry. Um, and basically they decided to move all of the, I mean, not all of them, but like, I think it was 18 or 22, I can't remember, I think it was 22. 22 mummies from the old museum were moved over to the new museum uh, and they made a huge parade uh, through the streets of Cairo to move them and people were dressed in ancient Egyptian attire, um, there was music and choirs singing in ancient Egyptian language which was like totally over the top but it was so beautiful the parade was epic it was so absolutely spot on and you know it was kind of showing that they have a respect for their ancestors in the terms of like um giving because they were the rulers of this land and they were like respecting them that was absolutely beautiful and to me that's something that doesn't happen in every country and it was a unique thing and the museum i've only seen some videos and pictures from inside of it but it's like monumental uh, and it's on, and it's on, on YouTube, so you can all check it out. Just type Golden Parade Egypt or Cairo. It's freshly recorded and it's all there. They have like just fragments of it or like the entire one or two hour thing. And I think they're proud of their story. Sure, there's a lot of propaganda there because let's be frank, they still have like some sort of regime thing going on in Egypt. But to be honest, a regime that still has time and money and they use a lot of money for this um, that they've actually just honored their ancestors from like two three four thousand years ago who I like gone have been gone for so long and they still like respect them and and show them the the, the respect for for their position that they were kings and queens of Egypt. It's absolutely beautiful and absolutely amazing. I was like mind blown by this. Absolutely, it just blew my mind. And the choirs that were singing in ancient Egyptian, man, that was just so incredible. And there were lights, uh, light shows around it. A uh, lot of stuff happening over there. Yeah, I'm not interested, Mr. Scorpion. Okay, Megan. No worries. She got up. Yeah, I would absolutely love to go to Egypt. And I hope that at some point, uh, if I be able to financially and just in general, it will be available to tra possible to travel normally. I would be so eager to go to Egypt. I mean, that's the number one place to go. Yeah, don't want to play with you, Mr. Scorpion. I think I have to. Pull the switch. Sure, we do have interesting history, yeah. Uh, you've, if you're asking about in friendly um, wildlife in the game, Lycan, no, there is none. Everything in this game that's alive, except for some humans, is going to try and kill you. Wasn't that an epic battle? And these explosions and everything? Uh, 
I try to get out of here, which is another thing. No, no biting, no biting. Well, we did have pettable animals in uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Like, Lara could pet the llamas in Paititi. So that was a pettable thing. <clears throat> pettable animal. It was friendly somewhat. Oh, wrong turn. Not here. Oh, shit, it closed. Damn. That didn't work well. Should be the way out. Yep. Uh, well, who killed them? Then killed that killed them. I haven't touched these llamas in the abandoned village. So sorry, Orange. Uh, you are the murderer. I'm not. Because I didn't feel like killing them. They were like skittish and very terrified. So what's the point of killing them? Is there a scorpion coming? Softly, Chris. You know, I just have huge respect for animals in general. And because there's always... I always had some I animals. Um, my first animal was a guinea pig. Then I had parrots. Which... Oh, I used to have hamsters. Yeah. Uh, I had parrots. Uh, I don't know what they're called in English. I think cockatiels, but I'm not sure. Cockatiels, yeah. Yeah. Um, they actually they had a baby and it hatched, and it was like very domesticated. It kept flying around the house and was like a dog almost or a cat, more like a flying cat really. Um, and now I have I have I had a cat for almost twelve years, and now I have a dog who's been with me for almost four years and I absolutely love having animals around me and I have three aquariums at home uh, a small nano aquariums but still I was very much into aquascaping at some point and if I had more money I would probably continue to fill up my apartment with lots of uh, lots of aquariums over and over but you got to limit the space for them because it's an unending it's non-ending hobby really you just get keep filling them up and bringing more and more. Go away. I'm not interested. Thank you. Um, shotgun to bat. Oh, that doesn't sound right. Any more bats around? By the way, I'm in the Great Pyramid. I'm very close to ending the game, actually. This is the grand finale. Final countdown. Yes, it is. I mean, I absolutely love the epic finale of this game. I think they nailed it. They really like kept I mean, I'm th I'm talking strictly about the boss fight with Seth. Uh, those who haven't seen this will see this, and it's it's mind blowing. I mean, I absolutely love it, and the final cutscenes, oh, it's beautiful. And the FMVs in this game are like the best. The Chronicles, yeah, they had some weird pixelization on the cutscenes. So FMVs were technically done in the same technique as uh, Last Revelation, but they were not as beautiful. So. I definitely have seen a decrease in quality. I believe Ash mentioned something about um, the fact that Core was not very keen on making uh, the Chronicles game, so they were like not very interested in polishing and making it like very spot on or really like all the creative juices wanted to be diverted to Age of Darkness and kind of felt forced to do the Chronicles. I'm not sure if that's true, but kind of shows because the game doesn't have like the final polish. They didn't even like fix some of the bugs for the PC version, so definitely does feel like they were kind of not not interested in making this game like the best Tomb Raider ever. There are not many even improvements in the game in general. Hey Earl! Oh my God! Thanks for dropping by. How are you, friend? So good to see you. 
I, it's, it's my favorite Jonah. It's my favorite Jonah up there. <laughs> okay, so let's use the keys we've been collecting over the past hour and a half. Yeah, baby, let's do this. Yeah, it was very unfair for from I just to actually just pull the plug as soon as the the hand the leg slipped the first time because it was the first time actually Cole's leg slipped. Every Tomb Raider was a success, so I really don't get it why they just completely cut them off and like didn't even get them give them a chance to redeem themselves. That was kind of bad move. Stop shooting, you bloody bastard. No fun. And right in the face, you know, it's just so rude. Yeah, at the end of the game, you get so many met packs, you don't even have to worry about damage, basically. Yep. Will there be any dogs around? No, I don't think so. Not any more as the lever. Hey, Nyuza Pominalski, Vitae. Welcome. Um, so, basically, that opened the no. path. <laughs> Thanks, Navaid. Jonah's here. Jonah, we're here. Nope. I need to time it. That's the cue. And I think this is the last secret in the game, which I am able to collect, I think. I'm not 100% sure, but I think this is the last one uh, that I pick up. No, I think there's one more. That's 67 out of 70, which is like my huge record, because um, I always love to like short for 10. So, thanks to this stream, I managed to perfect my playthrough, basically. And I will find all of them, because this is like my favorite Tomb Raider game, and I will, I will not die happy if I won't be able to find all of them. Uh, nope, go away, bad bats. They are evil bats. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go this way. Oh, the bug. Okay, never mind. Oh, how's Bubs? Oh, well, I hope he's going to be okay. Oh, okay. This is the part when I need to solve a very elaborate riddle, which I absolutely love, and think it's like the best, well, one of the best riddles out there because it actually requires you to uh, use things creatively. So let's fill up the large water skin and then combine it with a small one. We've got two liters. And the music, it's beautiful. And I love the water effect that they did, that these drops are falling off Lara. This is beautiful too. Go away.
And now this is the unused um, boss theme from Tomb Raider 3, I think. I think that's where they use it from. Peter Conley just worked on it a bit more and... Hmm, right. Oh, so it was supposed to be played actually in the final level where you're fighting Seth. And that's actually interesting. There we got four liters. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, it's it's so interesting to find out there's things that were planned but didn't actually work out or were like changed. It's it's so cool. I always like to nitpick those kinds of details. I do that for many games I play. Nope. No biting. <laughs> Thanks, Lara Croft 68. Yeah, I'm streaming. I'm playing. I'm doing the huge riddles. Uh, I think I'm gonna combine this way. Yep, got one litter. I didn't actually learn this, but it just comes out naturally for me. It's an easy riddle, but I really like it still. Needy for crying out loud. <laughs> These things are cruel. I know I put them there myself, but still. I have those two muted, so I can't actually hear what that sound is. Um, yeah, it's just a it's scary... Like a scream or something? It's a scary pop-up music. It's just, yeah. There are a few, actually. For bits, you can actually scare me with an alien sound from Alien Isolation. One of the other franchises I absolutely love, and I absolutely love this game, too. So, yeah, there's a lot of them. Uh, Twitch 1368, uh, is it? Yeah, I played to made the last revelation, like, probably a hundred times by now. So, yeah, I know the game fairly well by now. And this cutscene there, just beautiful. I'll try to catch up with the chat actually. Yep, it's the final stretch and the most beautiful cutscene in the entire game. Do you know how long it took me to actually figure out how to get down there? I mean, seriously. Every place you go, every place you try to jump, it's death. You gotta do like a swan dive right here into this spot, everywhere else you die. By the way, the strength in which she falls down, the speed would still kill her. It's funny that she says no, but she still puts those statues on. It's it's actually funny. No. No. I wonder why. It wasn't difficult to like make sure it doesn't do that, right? And here Laura just dresses no. Yeah, she knows what's going to happen. Yeah, that's probably why. <laughs> yeah, I think it does that in PS1 version 2, so I don't think it's, like, limited. Did they cut it short? I didn't know, actually. Mm -hmm. 
Rip new spears flowing down in this LOL. Absolutely crushing the party. Um, I'm going to answer Zepominowski's question. Um, I do have sympathy for the new games. Get away from me. So you can actually shoot him with two weapons that make him trip. <laughs> Brilliant timing. Unsavory. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm so happy. I'm so happy I've added that redeemable. It's absolutely brilliant timing. Yeah, because this is basically all the time running, so obviously I just gotta go away. So there are two weapons that actually make him fall. One is the revolver and the second one is the shotgun from close proximity. Makes him trip and prevents him from shooting me when he's close to me, so... That was absolutely brilliant. You had to unsavory and I absolutely loved it. This was beautifully executed. Um, one, like, strat for fighting him, I mean, like not getting hit by him is to be constantly on the move and do a lot of handstand because he won't hit her if she's doing a handstand for some reason he just keeps hitting below her because his targeting is like located to a lower section of Lara so that makes him like miss her every time and you won't get hit any time. If you're still in motion, nothing's gonna make him hit you. Which is a cool thing. Hell yeah. There were no mistakes made. This was intentional. I just wanted to be in motion. Uh, also, you won't get damage from Seth if you're standing in the light. Both climbing, standing, and it's very cool. Because that light is coming from the stars of Orion, which was like the constellation, uh, I think was for Osiris. I'm not 100% sure. But it no. was... But it's like protecting me from death. Also, if you climb like this way, like to the crawling position, he also won't hit up. Oh great, he hit me, bastard. Of course I won't leave that poor little map pack alone. I wouldn't dare. Oi, you flying bastard, no shooting, I mean not hitting. Yeah, I do believe the hydrid has a cooldown knee deep, so if you try to redeem it, um, it might be still in a cooldown. Hey, Rap Wins! Thanks for dropping by. I was hoping to see you. No. Yep, you see me. This is the first time I'm actually streaming officially with my face cam on. Who knows, I might actually stay. I don't know. I mean, when I'm streaming from a console, obviously I can't do that, but... Oh, 
What's up, Seth? You can't see me. And that's where you lose the ability to hit me. I mean, to damage me because you're hitting me. Devlug97, probably a few hundred by now. I swear to God, I probably played it more times than any other game. Although, 2013 reboot, I have like over 200 hours on Steam. That's on Steam alone. And I played it on my PlayStation 4, on Xbox 360. Yeah, it's going to be probably a few hundred years every time. Oh, if I didn't see it, sorry for that. I will hydrate right now. Cheers. Thank you for that. I actually needed that. Sorry, Sandra, I didn't see it. I'm I'm just, just so focused on just being brilliant, which I probably wasn't, but I tried to, like, entertain and play the game. And I totally forgot about, like, Checking the chat from time to time. Well, there's the final stretch. Final stretch. I will not die here. I will not die here. Died enough times. Yep. Thanks for the sound at the drop point. I can get ready to stream soon too. I just want to test something real quick. Sure. Quickly, girl, before it collapses around you. Be back, Verna. Oh, thanks no for the bits. No time. Thanks, Lycan. Give me your hands. And that's kind of a sad situation because we never knew what happened to Lara for like four years. And that's it. That's the game. I've managed to pull it off. Um, thank you for joining me. It was super fun to have you. Thank you, Neha. Uh, thanks everyone who cheered, who subscribed. I hope I will see you, some of your names again. Uh, it's been super fun and I'm so happy that you, uh, with uh, with Megan, Unihan and Megan, actually chose me to be on the final part. And the, with this, this is like my personal achievement to be able to play and stream this game with all of you, the entire community. Because this game started my Tomb Raider journey and it continues. 20 years later and still I still play it. Oh, thank you for the birds, Earl. Yeah, that was absolutely awesome. I'm so happy I was able to play this with you. I'm super hyped. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie, I'm super hyped and this is absolutely great thing I managed to be here with you guys. And played Tomb Raider 4, which was my first, my favourite game in the classic games. I'm so glad you like and didn't miss it, and I'm so happy that all of you were here. Thank you for all the follows, for the cheers, for the bids. Thanks, everybody. It's been a blast. Um, do I raid you? Uh, do I raid crystals now? Uh, yeah, just give me one second. I will ping you on Discord. No worries. Uh, no worries. I will read the chat and thanks for everybody who's been here. It's been super fun. Thanks, Laurie. I was hoping to like really show what the game is and 
to do it justice, um, to do all those things I always wanted to do. <laughs> Thank you for all the follows. Feral female, welcome. Welcome everybody, and I'm so happy to have you all here tonight. I was streaming not only on behalf of myself, but also the Polish community, which for the first time was able to represent us, uh, Polish fans. Uh, that's alright, Laurie. It's fine. I'm so happy that you managed to get on as much as you could.